Welcome to Quartz Smart Investing. I'm Merrill Brown. Our guest today is Rohan Reddy, Director of Research at GlobalX ETFs. Rohan, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Your group markets ETFs are exchange traded funds built around categories, or as you all put it, thematic funds. And of course, technology investing is a big part of where we are today. What do you think of technology going forward in 2023 with all the boom that's happened so far? We're really excited about it. We think the growth in generative AI investing, for example, is something that's going to catapult the industry going forward. We offer two funds in this category, ticker is BOTS and AIQ. One is focused more on robotics and automation. The other one's more on artificial intelligence technology. But we think it's going to improve margins for a lot of these companies and allow them to automate different processes that maybe they wouldn't have been able to before. So we do think it's going to be the next leg of growth for this industry and for many other industries outside of just technology. And what companies are poised to take advantage of this in your view? So we really like a lot of the chip making companies, uh, for example, GPU companies like NVIDIA. NVIDIA recently crossed the one trillion market cap level. So obviously a lot of euphoria around companies like NVIDIA. But we also think there's going to be companies around robotics, uh, other automation companies that will continue to benefit. We really like Japanese robotics companies, for example, uh, just because they can integrate specific processes around artificial intelligence and or the automation that will allow them to take advantage of maybe having some of their customers uh, grow a lot over time as well. What are the interesting companies in the Japanese sector? So we like companies, for example, like Fanuc. Uh, we also like a couple others like Kients. So we do really think that a lot of those companies will benefit, especially because over the last few decades, they've had a long runway to be able to get the path forward that maybe newer companies these days don't necessarily have. So Japanese robotics companies have been investing a lot over uh, the last few decades and building up their lead runway. And so we think that that's going to benefit them a lot. Next, Rohan Reddy on how investors should view artificial intelligence. <music>